how to add shopping cart to Canva website. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add a shopping cart icon or the shopping cart, uh, let's say here, link into your Canva website. The process is very easy, very simple. So you are going to head over to canva.com, sign in for an account. And as you can see, this is the workspace. Now, what are we going to do is to head over the search bar at the top and type in only website. And from here, we are going to see all the websites that we have. So if you do not have a website, select one of the templates that has been uh, preset already, and you can go ahead and use it for uh, there. But in my case, I'm go ahead. Uh, I'm going ahead here to edit my own website or the copy of the website I have took from the designs. As you can see here, it is nearly a complete design of a website. So you can go ahead and get it as it is. And also you can modify it. Now, how we can add the shopping cart. So we are going basically here to add, click on elements and type in shopping cart, just like that. And then we are going to see some graphics. So we can go ahead and add a graphic just right there. For example, just like this going to add it here as this so you are going to add your shopping cart and here we have it or you can go ahead and integrate the shopping cart to take to a actual store because canva do not have the integration or a complete platform to set up a store into the canva website is only going to be a demonstration so you are going to see here the preview and you can make it clickable so this is the PNG or the image or the graphic version of the um, cart, or you can go ahead and click, make it clickable to take to another store of yours. For example, if you have a Shopify store, so what are we going to do is to click on here on the Shopify URL. I'm going to copy that URL and put it in the uh, here, link it as the graphic. So we are going to click on link. Then we are going to type in the link of shop. So we are going to click on publish website. And then we are going to republish the settings. So we are going to see here that it is going to redirect us to the Shopify store of ours. I'm going to click on view website. So this is the website of ours. It will take a little bit of time to show up. Now, as you can see, the uh, cart or the shopping cart is going to be active or clickable. When you click on it, it will take you to the actual store of hours on Shopify. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.